Nigel Sanger here from John Guest Speedfit, and today we're going to do uh, three videos to show how to pair up an Aura wireless control system. And the first video will be to introduce you to all the components, to show you um, what the manifold is, how the manifold is uh, controlled, tell you a little bit about all the different parts of the, the system and the components and how they interact with each other. The second video will be on how to pair up the system and the third part of uh, the series or the third video will be to show you how to reconfigure if you've set up a system and then decide you want to reset it and uh, go back to a different configuration. So if you're totally familiar with the manifold and the actuators and controls and you just want to know how to pair up a system from start, you can just skip to the next video. But if you're not totally sure, I would recommend that you stick with us and uh, while I go through all the different components. So we'll start off with the manifold and this is the uh, the part of the system that we're actually trying to control. The manifold is the part of the system that takes the hot water from the boiler and distributes it around your, your house. And that's what we want to control. We want to send water around different parts of your house at different times and only heat the rooms that we want um, when you need those rooms heated. So how does the manifold work? Well, it takes heat from the boiler and distributes it from the manifold around the heating loop and back. Now we call that heating loop a circuit. Now there's only so much heat you can run through one end of the pipe. So larger rooms would need more than one circuit. Um, very large rooms may need four or five um, circuits. And the the thing that you need to realize is if you're turning uh, a small room on, we may only need to open one circuit. If we turn in a, a room on that has a number of circuits, we need to turn all those circuits on together. Now, how do we do that? Well, the manifold has little valves, yep, and I'll show you the valves here. They have little valves that you can turn on and off. Now, they come with mechanical decorators caps, so you can turn these on or off to set the system up. But once it's installed, we actually want to be able to do this automatically. And we use actuators for this. Think of an actuator as just a little electric valve. When we turn the valve on, it opens the circuit. And when we turn the valve off, it closes the circuit. So if we have a room with one uh, circuit in, one actuator, that's all we need to control. If we have a room that's got three or four circuits, we'll have three or four actuators, and we need to control those, open them up and close them down uh, together so that uh, all the circuits for each room comes on. Um, so that's what a manifold is, and that's what a manifold does, and we use these uh, actuators to do this. So you may end up with a 12-fold a manifold with, with 12 actuators on, and they need to be controlled somehow. So we put this over there. And to do that, we use room thermostats. Most central heating systems would have one central room stat. The problem with that is when you turn the heating on, every room heats up. Um, and it's, it's, it's not really a good way of, of heating the system. It's very inefficient. So underflow heating is different in that we control the heat in the rooms. Each room has its own thermostat, uh, and this controls the time and temperature. Um, by that I mean it determines when you want the heating on, when you want the heating off, and it also determines the temperature you want the room to come up to before we turn it off again. And this is the wireless system that we're talking about. And we have two different thermostats. We have a battery powered thermostat, yeah, and simply four batteries go in the back, and they will run the system. 
until the batteries go flat. We also have a mains powered wireless. Um, people do ask why we use mains powered wireless, but to use the analogy of your router in your home, it's a wireless router, but it's powered by your mains cable. And the beauty of having a wireless um, thermostat powered by mains is we can build in uh, a wireless repeater into this so that if your system is in, fitted in a large house or you've got thick walls, very often one or two of the thermostats may struggle to actually send the signal right back to the wiring center. But by having repeaters built in, then you know that problem is overcome. So you can use all mains, you can use all battery, or you can mix and match and put a couple of uh, mains powered ones in to, and it really does make your system an awful lot more stable. So there we have, there we have it. Now, as I've said, normal central heating systems have one stat. These have individual stats controlling different zones. Now, some people pick me up on why do you call them zones instead of rooms? Well. You know, a bathroom and a bedroom, you could say it's one room, or if it's a kitchen uh, and diner. You know? So if you've got a kitchen and diner, do you call that two rooms or do you call it a zone? So a zone really is uh, an area that's going to be heated but controlled by one thermostat. So as we said, if this thermostat is being fitted into a, uh, into a small room, it may only have to send a signal to the wiring center and the wiring center would be expected to turn on one circuit, one zone. Uh, or if the thermostat's fitted in a large room, when it sends a signal to the wiring center, that wiring center is expected to turn on multiple um, circuits to uh, control that zone. Now, here we have the wiring center. Um, Looks a little bit intimidating when you take the front cover off, but it's actually very, very logical. Inside, we have um, eight zones, and the actuators are connected to zone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, as needed. Yeah. So, and logically, we start as just as we read from uh, left to right. We start on the left-hand side of the manifold, and we connect zone one. Uh, on the manifold to zone one here, the next zone to zone two, three, four. Uh, you may not use all the zones, but uh, eight zones we find is uh, is plenty. So there's the wiring center. It will also control your heating system, and it will also control your hot water, and. Uh, we can do that because the the thermostats can be turned into a hot water timer and there's a dedicated hot water section within the wiring center that can control your um, your cylinder and uh, turn your boiler on when it's needed and open your motorized valve. So that's the, the bulk of the system yeah and this little baby here is uh, a wireless radiator valve in conjunction with the um, the wiring center and the thermostats. The thermostats can also be used to control individual radiators if you should uh, wish as part of the system. Uh, we'll do another video on that. The wiring centers uh, can also control the boilers directly. Um, there's a connection in here just as it is in uh, a single stat or on a motorized valve that can turn the boiler on and off directly. However, if you've got a large house, sometimes it's inconvenient to run a cable from every wiring center to the boiler. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not quite so easy. But we do have an optional wireless boiler receiver. Yeah? Up to nine wiring centers can communicate with a boiler receiver. So if you do have a system where you think oh, it's a little bit difficult to um, to run the cable, you can just purchase this. This is fitted near the boiler. They automatically pair up. There's no nothing for you to pair up, and uh, we can go from there. But it pairing up 
these uh, components that that's where everybody seems to have uh, the biggest issues and it's actually quite simple if you understand um, that each room would have one or more circuits and those circuits are wired to a dedicated zone in the wiring center all you need for the thermostat to do is to actually tell the wiring center which zone it wants to to turn on this little component here we call a coordinator and this is used to help pair up the system now the first time people see a coordinator they think oh that's just an added uh, distraction that's something that's going to be really difficult to uh, to set up well actually this makes setting up an absolute breeze um, because when you plug this into the system and turn it on once the system is is ready we press the button to turn it on and it starts scanning the system well it will find the wiring centers it will automatically enter the wiring centers into the network it will automatically find any boiler receivers and pair them to the wiring centers and join them to the network that is just totally automatic this that happens within about 20 seconds of turning the coordinator on when you set the time and date up um, on your thermostats you may have 10 thermostats well do you really want to set the time and date up on 10 thermostats well you would have to in most systems but when you turn the uh, set the time and date up on your first thermostat this recognizes that you're actually doing that this then sets the same time and the same date on all the other thermostats and it makes sure that that all the times and the dates you know are kept the same the other thing that people um, want to do with a wireless system or very often with lots of systems is they want to control it via an app they want to be able to control um, the system by using a mobile phone uh, or um, an iPad or a, an Android tablet and you can do this um, all you need to do is to buy an optional hub the system has been designed to work as a standalone system but if you want to go on the internet you just buy the hub we already have uh, a component that talks to the system this simply plugs into the hub the hub then uh, is connected to your wireless router and you download the app and uh, you're the way to go so now we know uh, about the, the manifold the fact that it has a number of circuits some rooms may need more than one circuit and the circuits are opened and closed using an actuator we know that thermostats control the time and the temperature in the room and these thermostats need to talk to the wiring center and they not only need to talk to the right wiring center but the correct zone so once you're armed with all that information uh, and you understand what you're doing we can proceed to the next uh, video which is pairing and uh, you should find that fairly simple